The Navy will launch formal flight testing in 2021 for a new, first-of-its-kind carrier launch drone engineered to double the attack range of F-18 fighters, F-35Cs and other carrier aircraft. The emerging Navy MQ-25 Stingray program, to enter service in the mid-2020s, will bring a new generation of technology by engineering a new unmanned reef for the carrier air wing. The program expects to be at flight test by 2021 and achieve initial operational capability by 2024, Jamie Cosgrove, spokeswoman for Naval Air Systems Command, told Warrior Maven. The Navy recently awarded a development deal to Boeing to further engineer and test the MQ-25. A central key question informs the core of this technology effort, what if the attack capability of carrier fighters, such as an F-18 or F-35C, could double the range at which they hold enemy targets at risk? Could such a prospect substantially extend the envelope of offensive attack operations, while allowing carriers themselves to operate at safer distances? The Navy believes so. The MQ-25 will provide a robust organic refueling capability, extending the range of the carrier air wing to make better use of Navy combat strike fighters, Cosgrove said. Perhaps enemy targets 1,000 miles away, at sea or deep inland, could successfully be destroyed by carrier-launched fighters operating with a vastly expanded combat radius. Wouldn't this be of crucial importance in a world of quickly evolving high-tech missile and aircraft threats from potential adversaries such as near-peer rivals? Perhaps of equal or greater relevance, what if the re were a drone, able to operate in forward high-risk locations to support fighter jets, all while not placing a large man-tanker aircraft within range of enemy fire? The emergence of a drone of this kind bears prominently upon ongoing questions about the future of aircraft carriers in light of today's fast-changing threat environment. Chinese DF-21D and DF-26 anti-ship guided missiles, for instance, are said to be able to destroy targets as far away as 900 nautical miles. While there is some question about these weapons' ability to strike moving targets, and carriers of course are armed with a wide range of layered defenses, the Chinese weapon does bring a substantial risk potentially great enough to require carriers to operate much further from shore. In this scenario, these Chinese so-called carrier killer missiles could, quite possibly, push a carrier back to a point where its fighters no longer have range to strike and land enemy targets from the air. The new drone is being engineered, at least in large measure, as a specific way to address this problem. If the attack distance of an F-18, which might have a combat radius of 500 miles or so, can double, then carrier-based fighters can strike targets as far as 1,000 miles away if they are refueled from the air. Also, despite the emergence of weapons such as the DF-21D, senior Navy leaders and some analysts have questioned the ability of precision-guided long-range missile to actually hit and destroy carriers on the move at 30 knots from 1,000 miles away. Targeting, guidance on the move fire control, ISR and other assets are necessary for these kinds of weapons to function as advertised. GPS, inertial measurement units, advanced sensors and dual-mode seekers are part of a handful of fast-developing technologies able to address some of these challenges, yet it does not seem clear that long-range anti-ship missiles such as the DF-21B will actually be able to destroy carriers on the move at the described distances. Furthermore, the Navy is rapidly advancing ship defensive weapons, electronic warfare applications, lasers and technologies able to identify and destroy approaching anti-ship cruise missile from ranges beyond the horizon. Carriers often travel in carrier strike groups where they are surrounded by destroyers and cruisers able to provide additional protection. One such example of this includes the now-deployed Naval Integrated Fire Control, Counter Air System, or NIFCCA. This technology combines ship radar and fire control systems with an aerial sensor and dual-mode SM-6 missile to track and destroy approaching threats from beyond the horizon. Ship laser weapons and rail guns, in addition, could be among lower-cost ship defense weapons as well. The MQ-25A Stingray is evolving out of a now-cancelled carrier-launched ISRN attack drone program called Unmanned Carrier-Launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike System, or UCLIS. A Northrop demonstrator aircraft, called the X-47B, has already performed successful carrier drone takeoffs and landings. Accordingly, 
The ability of the Navy to operate a drone on an aircraft carrier is already progressing and has been demonstrated. An existing large fuselage tanker, such as the emerging Air Force KC-46A, might have too large a radar signature and therefore be far too vulnerable to enemy attack. This, quite naturally, then creates the need for a drone able to better elude enemy radar and refuel attack aircraft on its way to a mission.